Hello gentle viewers, this is Vindian welcoming you back to Tabletop Simulator in a game which is quite clearly not Power Grid Factory Manager. Um, I want to apologize before I first start talking about this game. Um, I foolishly promised something before I actually went and looked at the mod and the mod doesn't work. Um, there's a problem with the script and because that script isn't fixed you literally can't play the game. Uh, which is a real shame, it's a great game. And someday I'll check again see if there's a better mod release for it. But for now, that's why you're not seeing Power Grid Factory Manager. Instead, today we're playing Agricola All Creatures Big and Small, which is the appetizer version of Agricola in that it's basically the same game in a lot of ways, but it's also uh, much simpler, it's much shorter, um, and it's much faster. Um, it is a really good gateway game for kids. And I don't normally recommend games for kids because I don't find them that engaging. This is a game I think I'd make an exception for. And hats off to Uwe Rosenberg, who went ahead and actually included some helpful tips in the manual for playing this game with a child. Um, I could very easily see an eight or nine year old enjoying playing this game or like a really precocious six year old or something like that. Um, but it is quite good. Um, so the game works pretty simply in that you are trying to have the most animals on your farm as possible at the end of eight rounds. Um, and over the course of the game, you're going to be building fences, you're going to be building buildings, things like that, to make things a little bit more interesting. Um, so how does a turn work? A turn works quite simply. Each player has three workers, and unlike normal Agricola, you cannot get any more workers. This is it. You will only ever have three workers, which means you have a very precise 24 actions over the course of the game, in which you try to get as many animals as possible. But you take your disc and you place it on a particular spot somewhere on the board and you do what that board says. In a standard worker placement game, which this game is, you are always going to be placing one worker on a space and you can never have more than one worker on a space. Um, so really quickly, any space you see on the board if it contains a, uh, a symbol, it means you get that resource. So for instance here, if you come to this space, you get one wood, one stone, and one reed. Any space that has a red arrow coming off of it is a space that will accumulate more stuff as the game continues, uh, like Dune Imperium and the Spice Maker spaces. Here, you get an additional resource as long as no one takes that space. So for instance, um, the first turn of the game, uh, you will put a pig out here. As long as nobody takes that pig, you'll be adding a sheep to that space. As well as pigs, I believe. Let me just quickly double check that. Um, yeah. So you basically would get both of them, which is pretty cool. Um, what else? Um, I, th I really think that's all you really need to know. Um, the last thing that's important to know is that unlike other games, you have a fixed number of fences to work with. Um, any space that is entirely fenced in can hold two animals. Of the same kind, animals apparently don't get along in this game. You can't have sheep and cows in the same space because that's apparently anarchy. Um, up to two animals of the same kind. Um, your cottage can also hold a solitary animal, kind of like a pet. And you're going to be breeding uh, new animals as long as you have room for them. Otherwise, they just run away. Um... What else do you need to know to enjoy and understand this game? I really don't think you need to know much. 
Uh, we're just going to go ahead and hit the setup button, and then we'll get started. Um, do you know that this game does include um, the additional buildings? Um, in the Agricola All Creatures Big and Small Big Box, I believe those are included. I'm trying to remember if that's the case or not, but I'm pretty sure you get the expansions as well as the um, the base game. I'm quickly checking that um, just to confirm it. Yes, it does actually include the uh, expansions from the base game. Um, there's alternate farm boards here. I don't think they really make a difference. Um, just for fun, we're going to go ahead and play with the extra buildings, um, because it'll make things a bit more interesting, and we're going to hit start game. So, um, as you can see here, we have one reed, one pig, one horse, and one cow. As long as you don't take the space, you'll also be able to add sheep to it. Um, so, red was randomly considered to be the first player. Let's look at the special buildings here. Um, special buildings always cost the same thing, either five stone or five wood, your choice. Um, oh, sorry, that's, uh, that's for upgrading to stables and building stalls. That's very different, sorry. Um, I'm thinking special buildings cost whatever they cost. Um, and these also count as walls, so they add additional places to build. Okay. You start the game with no resources of any kind, so that one of the first things you're going to want to do is collect some resources. <clears throat> but you're also going to want animals. Because you can't win the game if you don't have animals. It is a known fact. So let me take a moment to think and double check a couple of rules and then we will begin. Ah, so it is one or the other. So once someone takes a read, it can't get any sheep. Um, do you notice you're penalized if you don't have enough of a particular animal, you, you'll actually lose points, but as long as you get lots of animals of another type, you'll gain more points, um, which is pretty solid. Um, now, if you get one of these, which is called a feeding trough, you can have one animal there. Even if you don't have any fences. So if you want to get an animal nice and early, you could do that. Um, what would a red most like to do? What kind of buildings do we have out here? We have a timber shop. That's pretty cool. So once all these are used, uh, you get three wood for free. You can now you can specialize in cow production. Um, you can get points at the end of the game for having stone there. That's pretty cool. Oh, the coin symbol is points. Um, you can build a stall uh, whenever you like. That's pretty sweet. Um, stalls are, are quite nice. All things considered. <clears throat> uh, for a shelter, you get to add an animal for free. Please note that is not one of each. That is just one. So you basically you get to you get an animal and you get to put it in the shelter. There's the dog house. You can keep one sheep on each unused space. It doesn't border the forest. The half-timbered house, which, uh, which upgrades your house. Um, and is also worth um, additional points. 
Um. So that's where you build your stalls. I think getting three wood is a pretty solid early play because then I can start building um, pastures. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to place my worker here. And I'm going to take three wood. Wright's turn is now over. And a blue has to think about what they would like to do. Um, it's so early in the game that it's, it's often hard to decide what you want to do. And unlike a game like Base Agricola, you don't have cards. So you don't really have a way to uh, like get bonuses and things like that. Um, we could expand our farm. But you don't really need to do that early on in the game. Um, and actually, not placing having enough farms at the end of the game can actually cost you points. Um, so it's something to consider. Um, they could go hard for stone. So they could try to get a stall built. They'd also need reeds, but that's not that hard to come by. So I think man, it's going to be Blue's strategy. Blue's going to come up here. And he's going to drop a person there and take two stone. It's now back to red. Um, red would very much like to go ahead and start placing fences. So they're going to come to this base here. Um, unlimited means you can do this as much as you have wood for. But a very important thing to keep in mind is that um, you can only build fences that are in your supply. The only way to get more fences is to come to this base right here. Uh, but I can place three fences if I spend all three wood. Um, so the question is always, do you want to build a ginormous early pen or do you want to build a small one so you can start getting animals produced and get them out on the board? Um... To see, I don't think the edge of your farm counts as a space. I don't think that counts. Uh, it does not. So right now, I could build fences in such a way as to have two space. Enough for two animals. And that's fine, right? But I think we want to get a little bit bolder. So I'm going to go ahead, spend my three wood, and I'm going to go one, two, three. <clears throat> if I build two additional fences, I then have enough room to store up to four animals. Um, feeding troughs are pretty powerful. They let you double what would normally be on that space. You can get pretty crazy by timing right. So this is an investment in the future. Doesn't help me right now, but it will help me later on. Um, I need one stone and one reed as the blue player. And I am going to go ahead and come over here. And I'm going to get one wood, one stone, and one clay. We're going to do one, two, and three. I now have enough to buy a stall next turn, or even consider buying one of these other buildings. I'll definitely want to give it some thought. Oh, dang. Oh, this symbol means it's an upgrade, which means an open symbol is an upgrade over a stall, um, I think. I'm quickly checking this here. Yeah, you have to have a stall first. Okay, that's fine. Um, so blue got the resources, we are back to red, and
Red is going to go over there. Because this lets you place two for free, and then two per any stone you have. They're going to go one, and they're going to go two. So Red now is in a great position starting next turn to start collecting some animals. Um, Blue, meanwhile, is going to be doing things a bit differently. Blue is not going to come over to here, and they're going to build a stall. So it's going to cost three stone and a reed. He takes a stall from the bag, places it anywhere he wants to with the incredibly important understanding these also count as walls. So placing it here means it'll be that much easier for him to build pastures later on. Uh, and this can store up to three animals in it. It's for the point at the end of the game. Um, red and blue have both taken all their turns. We have now completed round one, and we hit next round. Please note that the first player token doesn't automatically cycle. You have to come over here in order to break that. Um, this is our timer. Once all these are gone, the game is over. So red gets to go first again, and red wants to get his hands on some animals. Uh, breeding didn't happen because none of us had any animals. So the question is, what kind of animal do you like to specialize in to begin with? Um, sheep are the easiest to get because there are three spaces that make sheep. So I think blue is, or red's going to head over here. Grab one pig and one sheep. And you can send animals anywhere you want to. He's going to put the pig in the cottage and a sheep over here. E20 spaces can hold two sheep right now. Um, and that's going to conclude Red's turn. Um, now, keep in mind, you your animals are limited by type. So this is three animals of the same kind. Um, that is not quite as powerful as it might otherwise seem. Um, I definitely want to try to get some breeding done, but maybe the best way to get additional animals is to start upgrading. For three wood, I can upgrade to open stables over here, which instantly gives me an animal. And I can put a whole bunch of animals of the same kind in there. It's an interesting strategy, but I think it's one worth going for. So I'm going to come over to here and grab the three wood. So already we're starting to see divergence in the strategies of our two players. Um, where blue is focusing on buildings, red is focusing on just accumulating animals. Um, red is next going to come... So red has a problem. If red takes any more sheep, no, he could get this one and he'd also get a reed. That's worth it. Red comes over here, collects one reed and collects the sheep, which he puts right there. So these two sheep will make a third sheep at the end of the turn. Um, it doesn't matter how many animals you have. As long as you have two, you get one. Whether you have two sheep or 30 sheep, you only ever get one extra animal. Um, so it was Red's turn. Blue really wants some animals, but there's not really any incentive to do that right now when he could keep building up his, um, his buildings. Um, open stables give him one horse or one cow. Um, hmm... Do I want to go for that right now? I don't think I do. I could go up there to play some more fences so I could get more room for animals. My problem is though, I have plenty of room for animals. I just don't have the animals. 
<clears throat> and I'm not likely to get enough to do any breeding. Um, but I have to start getting animals. I'm going to come over here to grab a cow and a pig. Uh, pig, you get to go in the cottage. Cow, you get to go in the stall. The reason being, um, if I upgrade to the open stables, which I can do next, I'll instantly get another animal, which is pretty great. Um, do you return the stall to the supply? You do. Okay. I wasn't sure how that worked. So the stall goes back. Um, Red is pretty excited about the idea of getting another sheep, but they wouldn't have anywhere to put the horse. So I think Red is going to come over here and get a couple of free fences so we can start planning an expansion for the farm in the future. Um, so he is going to put one here and one here. Because one other thing they're probably going to want to do is they're probably going to expand their farm. They're already starting to run a bit low on space. So maybe something that Red decides to do next turn. Now, blue could try to go first, but blue doesn't really care if they go first or not. Instead, blue's going to come over here to pick special building. For three wood, they buy the open stables, which then releases a stall. Uh, so go ahead and unlock the stall. The stall goes back in the bag. They get the open stables instead in the exact same place. And they immediately get a cow or a horse. They're gonna take a second cow from the supply, which will then set them up to get an additional cow. Moo. So, uh, the turn is done. I can click this very handy next round button and you'll notice that it actually goes ahead and makes animals for us. So you'll notice here, cow, you have to decide where to put it. I'm going to put you right here, my bovine friend, and a sheep over here. Um, very important fact, you can always take um, new critters, but if you don't have space for them, they run away. And that can be... A pretty big downer. So, Red has every incentive to go for a farm expansion, but this is important. If you fill a farm expansion, you get four points. If you don't fill it, you get nothing. And that is pretty important. But I think he's going to use it, and he really wouldn't mind getting these. So Red's going to start by going over here. They get the three fences. No, they do not get to place them. They just get to claim them. And they also get one farm expansion, um, which you place. You always place it so that the road is, like, constant. Like so. And I'm going to lock that down. So now, with the cost of only four fences, he can go ahead and I have a nice giant place for lots and lots of animals. It is now Blue's turn. I think Blue would be very interested in setting up a nice big pasture of his own. When do animals run away? I'm trying to remember. I don't remember if they run away during the breeding phase or if they run away. Yeah, they run away as soon as you get them if you don't have a place for them. <clears throat> ba -ba 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 -ba. So how do we do this? How do we ensure that we have a good situation with lots of room to expand. I don't need cows anymore. My cows will look after themselves. Um, I could use a pig, but I have nowhere to put them. I 
I could just go back and get more wood and then use that to go ahead and build fences. So that's what I'm going to do. But I'm not going to come over here. No, 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 no. This has been filling up. This is worth as much. And I'll also get the first player marker. Um, next turn. That's going to be pretty big. And now uh, next turn, assuming I don't get blocked, which I can't be because you can't go to space you can't use, um, I'm going to get a chance to put down four fences, which is going to be pretty great. Um, red is up. Red definitely wants more fences of their own, but they don't have any resources. It's a bit of a bummer. Uh, they could go get four stone and then be able to build two fences. That'd be four fences total. That's pretty solid. I think that's what Red will do. Red's going to come over here and grab himself some stone. Blue is up. Blue wants to build the fences that he just acquired. So, one, two, three, four, five. Mmm. Hang on. Maybe getting another wood is worthwhile first. Really stockpile the wood. Because the one thing he wants to he wants to get a new farm expansion now, but he can't do that yet. Um, and there's really no incentive for Red to take any animals because they just run away. Um, yes, by the way, it is possible to be an asshole in this game and take animals just so that somebody else can't get them. Um, I wouldn't recommend playing that way because people won't want to play with you anymore, but it's definitely a strategy that people have done. Um, I just wouldn't do it. I, I would be pretty PO'd if somebody did that to me. Um, eh? Man, I really don't know what I want to do here. Because collecting more wood would let me put a pretty disturbing amount of fences down, but I don't need a disturbing amount of fences. I just need five. Enough to go one, two, three, four, five. And then I have more than enough space to have pretty much any animals that I want. And I'm gonna get first crack next turn. So I think I'm going to come over here and take this space so that I get one of each. One wood, one reed, one stone. Done. Red wants to place some fences and that's exactly what they're going to do. They're gonna come over here. They get to place two fences for free. So he's gonna go one and two and then he's going to spend all four of his stone to go one and two and just like that he's got a nice giant place to put animals later on it's also worth noting that animals can be moved at any time because that's how animals work um so like in a couple turns it, they would run out of sheep. They could just move all the sheep. You can't change your farm, but you can change the animals on it. Lastly, blue is going to come over here. They're going to spend all their wood, and they're going to put up a pretty big farm of their own. So they're going to go one, two, three, four, and five done <clears throat> round finished we then hit next round i get an extra cow who's going to go in the stable i get an extra sheep who's going to go in the pasture and this was supposed to get moved over um it didn't so that's a bit of a shame but because that's where he had gone 
Um, this space is getting kind of redonkulous if you want a lot of wood. Um, but blue is going to come over here instead. Right? Oh no, wait a minute. If blue goes there, they get a bunch of sheep, but they don't get... But they don't get... Oh no. Um, first of all, I think the first thing blue has to do is they have to get a farm expansion. I don't think blue can afford to take the risk that red decides not to do it. I oh, know, I don't want that. I want that. My reasoning is simple. Um, red is really short on fences right now, and they might go there just to get the fence. So that's blue's first action, which is going to leave red in the same position that blue is right now. No, it won't. Because you can move animals. Oh no. Red could grab a whole bunch of sheep. And unlike blue, they have a place to put their horse because all they have is sheep. They can just scoot all the sheep over to here. And that's going to be a lot of points. Potentially. Potentially. Hmm. Hmm. But red also recognizes that these can be a source of points as well. The Stone Carver's Workshop is a pretty good way to get a bunch of points, but it costs a lot of wood. So maybe it goes for woods. Or you could go Dairy Farm with another farm expansion. Actually, the Dairy Farm is really powerful, and it's something that actually Blue might go for. Because placing it in the right spot gives gives you the ability to put um I almost want another expansion but not really but I could put that like here and that'd be I could have so many cows and that would then open me up for other critters um what does red want does red want the extra sheep so let's talk about scoring at the end of the game, if you have between 8 and 10 sheep, you get 1 point. That's not 1 point per sheep, it's 1 point. Um, right now, they have 4 sheep, and if red takes this, they would have 7 sheep. So it's definitely worth that. It is definitely worth... Oh, sorry, every animal's worth 1 point, and then you get a bonus. That's right. Um... Yeah, I think this is too good an opportunity to pass up. So red comes over here. The blue player is like, that was his strategic error. But he'll try to make up for it later. Um, red's going to take all their sheep and move them over. Just like that. And then place out three more sheep. And then um, horses are kind of hard to come by. So he's going to ship his pig into that pen so he can try to make more pigs. And that is Red's turn. Back to Blue. If Blue is going to build the dairy farm, and I think that's exactly what Blue is planning on doing, Blue needs stone. If you're going to get stone, get as much stone as you can. 
It's just smart, right? So blue's going to come over here and grab four stone. All about planning for the future. Blue's going to have some big turns down the line, but for now, not so much. Um, now, this is critical. Red is in a tiny bit of a pickle right now, but not, not excessively so, but in a tiny bit of a pickle. Um, if they take any more animals, they're going to lose one. So instead, red is going to get some wood. Specifically, there's six bloody wood right there. That's an incredible value. Because red's going to get in the trough building game. But we'll talk about that in a second. Blue is going to come to the special buildings again. Uh, it's going to cost him the dairy farm is what? It's three stone and one reed. So we're going to go there. There? Yes, because then later on, if I get another farm expansion, that'll be another place I can put cows. Um, that's going to cost me one, two, three, and a reed. Note that unlike most spaces, this does hold animals, but only cows. You can't put any animal you want there. Um, and so that is that. Next, we uh, I'm going to move cows now so that I can start putting other animals in the open stables. And there's plenty of places where I can put the new cows. So now I have places to put both horses and sheep or pigs. I'm in much better shape now. Um, red is going to come over here. No, they don't have to yet. Because a truly ridiculous amount of sheep would be great. Oh, they want it for the pigs. That's right. Uh... But any new animals would run away, is the problem. Red could just get some more resources and position themselves for an even better turn next time around. And I think getting one of each resource makes a bit of sense. Um, yeah, because they can't get the half-timbered house because they don't have any stone. This does open up the half-timbered house, though. So you get one stone... another reed and another wood oh that is not right can you can you split that for me and then done uh so both players have taken all their turns blue is going to keep a uh, first player Oh, reset player tokens means these, not this. That makes sense. So blue gets to go first again. And red is kind of okay right now. So blue's important decision is... Uh, oh, first of all, cow, you're going in the dairy farm. Uh, sheep, you're going in the sheep pasture. So blue's crucial... Um, a front stage use has a building on it, a feeding trough on it, or as part of a fully enclosed pasture. So I don't think this counts. So I'd have to actually build a couple of feeding troughs if I wanted to do that. Um, hmm. I'm going to quickly look up um, so I'm going to do I'm doing a Google search. Quickly. 
all creatures creatures big and small um i need okay here we go the dairy farm here Yeah, it doesn't say whether dairy farms count as used. Huh. So if they don't count as used, this isn't quite as powerful a building as it seems. Um, I am going to pause the recording now. I'm going to check on Board Game Geek, and I will be right back. So I am back. I did not find any clear answers about whether they would count as used. I guess I'd assume that it doesn't because the rules quite clearly state what counts as something being used. Um, a building, a trough, or a fully enclosed pasture, which these don't count as because there's no fences. Um... I also don't need to have fencing there, which is pretty great. I like that part. Um, but yeah, that won't count in terms of getting the bonus points at the end of the game. Um, which is fine. Um, that's no big deal. But that does slightly change my strategy, at least a tiny bit. Um, but we'll figure something out here shortly. Um, okay, so I really want to get my hands on, do I want pigs and a horse or do I want sheep? The thing is I can't be shut out of sheep because even if red go, makes a beeline for this space, I've got this space, but pigs are harder to come by. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab two pigs and another cow. I'm then going to relocate my piggy wig friend into here. And I am now one step closer to achieving my dreams of having lots of animals. Um, we could get more horses, but I really need pigs. Um, before he can do that, though, he would have to expand. Which you could easily do. He's got lots of wood. Or you could just get stupid. Because... I'm trying to remember if trough is doubles every space in the whole pasture or just the space it's actually placed on. Because it can get pretty silly. Um, yeah, so basically, this means every space in the pasture would get a second, um, would double. So basically, I could have 16 sheep here. I would never need to get additional sheep again. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to build a trough. Like so. This is now going to double the number of sheep I can have in the entire pasture. I basically have four sheep each space. And... I could spend wood to build more... But I don't really have an incentive to do that right this second because I don't even have a place to put um, horses or cows yet. I need more fencing, basically. Um, to that end, 
Blue's gonna jump up here and grab this. And this is all about getting another farm expansion so that I can start putting cows uh, in here as well. Um, so I've got lots of space for animals now, which means I can just spend later turns just grabbing animals. Um, Red is going to come over here to grab two sheep and a pig. So sheepy one, sheepy two, and a pig. And blue is going to grab themselves two sheep and a reed. So we have sheepy one, sheepy two, and a reed. So now all I basically need is a place where I can try to raise some horses and we'll be in really great shape. Um, so I'm definitely going to want to try to find a way to place some fences next next round. Um, red could... Yeah, red's actually going to get sneaky and they're going to come over here, grab even more wood, but most importantly take first player away from the blue player. Because um, they're tired of getting shut off, shut out of farm expansion, and this will just give them more options. So we're going to go ahead and advance. We are nearing the end of the game. Uh, you're going to go there, Mr. Cow. You're going to go there, Mr. Sheep. And you're going to go there, Mr. Pig. Uh, coming over here. Pig and sheep. Um, red now gets to go first. Red could go for making buildings this turn. I just don't think that's very smart for them. <clears throat> they need a horse. And their big problem is that so does blue. But if they don't claim the horse, so basically if they don't claim the horse, they risk the chance of red claiming it, or blue claiming it rather. Um, and that is a big problem. But they also know that there's not a lot that blue can do until they've built another pasture. Um, and remember, if you don't have at least three of a given type of animal, you get penalized um, for not having enough. So that is an important consideration as well. Red could go for a farm expansion. There are a, There's a fair few reasons to do that. But maybe buildings are the way to go. The stone carver's workshop would be great if this wasn't actually round six, which means it'll at most be worth four points at the end of the game. Um... If they want a place just to store horses, they could buy the stud farm. That would be perfect. Yeah, that's exactly what Red's going to do. <clears throat> so the stud farm is going to cost one wood. Oh no, they can't. They absolutely can't. because they don't have enough stone. And if I take the time to go get the stone, oh, but blue can't do it either. And red would be able to do it as soon as they get the stone. Blue would need to get wood and stone. So yeah, red's gonna rush up here and grab whatever gives the most stone, this one. 
Also, by the way, this building is going to look awfully tasty to... Where is it? This is going to look awfully tasty to um, red. Because red is going to have like a stupid amount of building materials. Um, that's pretty valuable for them. Um, blue is going to run out of spaces to place cows, which is fine. It's certainly not the end of the world if they don't have enough places to put cows. They need places to put horses. And I think they're going to go the trough route to make sure they have enough. So Blue's going to come over here. And they're going to place two fences for free. One here. And one here. That's it for blue, back to red. Red is gonna grab themselves the stud farm now. Although, arguably this is more valuable. The thing is that blue has, red has plenty of resources. They can just take the other special building spot this turn. Uh, so this is going to run them. Just gonna put this right here. It's going to run one wood, three stone, and a reed. And now he's got a place to put horses. Um, which is good. Um, unfortunately for... Hmm, does blue want to get in there and grab a horse before red can do anything about it? Or does Blue want to start building up building resources for the mighty tasty half-timbered house? Which is worth five coins at the end of the game. Um... Actually, the ultimate dick move would probably be... They're going to have minimums for everything but horses, even right now. <clears throat> and I've got an absurd amount of lane for cows, um, but that's fine. They're going to eventually need two horses. If they do not take horses now, they probably won't be able to get them. I mean, they could always build a shelter later on. Um, that's certainly a possibility. And shelter isn't very expensive, just not worth any points at the end of the game. Um, if they don't take the horse, red is going to do it. That's the most important thing that blue needs to keep in mind. If they don't get the horse, red's going to take it. Because um, then that horse will breed and they'll get a third... Uh, they'll get a third horsey. So I think Blue's going to go ahead and claim this space. And then they put their horse in there, and then they're going to put a sheep in here. Back to Red. Red is not happy about that, but Red has lots of other options, up to and including just building another building. The storage building, they're going to put that right there. One reed, two wood. That's pretty spicy, especially if they just keep getting resources. Um, Blue would love to get another horse, but they can't right now. They could come over here to get an expansion. That's kind of meh. They could put a feeding trough in the open stables and get 10 sheep in there, which is pretty great. 
I just, I just don't know at this point what Blue actually cares about. Blue could definitely use some resources. For sure. Um, this fodder beet field is pretty great once they get a second horse. They get one more of every animal. So maybe the most important thing is actually coming over here to make sure that they become first player. Which I think is exactly what they're going to do. Uh, next round. Uh, here comes a sheep. Here comes a pig. Here comes a cow. They actually don't have any more space for cows, uh, but they always put it like in the cottage or whatever. Um, red puts a pig here and puts a sheep here. <clears throat> and then blue is just going to take the ultimate dick move and grab the horse. Now they're going to get a third horse and red is not. Um, red's not going to be able to get a horse this turn. Um... Unless they build a shelter, but they don't have any room. So Red is going to take the very important step of grabbing themselves another expansion. Because shelter is a way to get the horse that they need. And they can be pretty certain that Blue's not going to bother with it. But that's not going to happen if, um, if they don't have room for it. Because right now they don't have anywhere they can put it. Uh, but now they can buy that next turn. Um, yeah, the fodder beat field just instantly gives you stuff. The cow would run away. But that's not the worst thing in the world. Because this is about getting the... Uh, but there's no incentive other than stopping Red from getting it. Um, what does Blue need for the half-timbered house? They basically just need wood. They could also build a stall. Resources still matter very, very much to Blue. The alternative is getting even more... The alternative would actually be building a trough. Um, so that they could put a stupid amount of people in the sheep pen. I think if they're going to do that, they'd want wood first. Because then they can also do it for cows. So I think that's what Blue's going to do. Is Blue's going to go collect all this magnificent wood here. And done. Red is going to grab the shelter while they still can. Shelter is going to cost um, two wood and a stone. And the shelter goes over here. They get one animal of their choice and they're going to pick a horse. Now they don't have to worry about getting shut out of horses. Uh, they don't have any cows though. Um, that is still something that they're going to need to deal with. Uh, they're going to move their horses into the stud area here. Just because that's a good spot for them. Uh, back to Blue. Blue is sitting pretty with all their animals. They're not going to get penalized at all. So this is just a question about finding storage space. Blue's going to get that storage space here. They get one feeding trough for free. They're going to cram it into the stable here. This cannot hold 10 sheep, which is pretty redonkulous, I have to say. And they're going to build a second trawl by spending, uh, heck, let's go ahead and spend six wood and let's build two more troughs. Uh, I'm going to put one in this pig enclosure and I'm going to put one over here in the horse enclosure. 
No, the, no, I'm not going to lose a cow because the cow's going to go hide out in the cottage for a bit, and then we'll just deal with it later. Uh, so that's Blue's turn. Red gets to go last. Um, Red really doesn't want to keep getting shot out of horses, but Red also needs cows. Um. Yeah. And maybe grabbing cows is the right call. Or maybe building fences is the right cow. Right, right cow? Right call. Yeah, that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna come over here. They get two for free. And then they're gonna go and spend two stone to build their third. Because what that does is it's gonna give them um, four extra points at the end of the game. And most critically, it's a nice place to put cows starting next turn. Um, so. This is it, friends. Um, I believe you still get animal breeding the last turn of the game. You do. It'll be the last thing that happens. Um, so that's going to be something important to keep in mind. So sheep. I'll just kind of pile in there. Pig. Uh, cows going in the cottage. And horse is going to go here. Red, you're going to get your third horse, so you're going to hang out over there. Um, Pig's going to go in the shelter, and sheep comes over here. Uh, blue is first player. Blue wants more room for cows, for certain. Because he's going to get one more cow. He'd actually want room for two more. So I think Blue's just going to come right back here and build more troughs. So he's going to put one trough there and he's going to get rid of three wood. And he's going to put one trough here. This also, by the way, guarantees he'll get four points for this one because building a trough counts as building a building. Uh, so that's all taken care of. Um, back to red. Red needs another cow. Red just needs a cow, actually. There's not really a way to get two cows that I can see on this board. Um, so it's worth asking the question, is it worth even trying to get a cow? Because the difference is, look, Red's either going to get minus three for having cows or minus two for having cows. Um, just getting more sheep is probably more valuable. Or more pigs, whichever. Um... Like, more pigs in one cow is not a bad... Yeah, they're going to do this. This this makes sense. Grab themselves a pair of pigs and a cow. Moo. Uh, go hang out in the shelter and Mr. Pig go join the other piggies. Uh, blue. Now has lots of space for cows. Um... Can blue get enough to build the half-timbered house? It would cost three wood, two stone, and a reed. He would just need a bit of wood. So blue's going to come right the way up here and grab some wood. Red is going to do... Red wants as many resources as they can get because it's worth points to them at the end of the game. Um, because if you look here, you get a half point for every building material. Otherwise, materials are worth nothing at the end of the game. So coming over here to get four stone is really smart. That's basically a guarantee of two points. Um, so that's what they're going to do. 
Oh, does do fences count as building material? Um, what counts as building material? So storage building. Only the building materials in your own supply. Well, what the heck is the building material game? Um, building materials. Let's see here. Okay, borders do not count as uh, borders do not count. So that makes sense. Borders don't count. As building materials. Not that it matters because they don't actually have any, but it might have made a difference. Uh, so red just got the stuff. Blue's going to come over here to build a special building. And the half timbered house is going to run three wood, two stone, and one reed. Um, this actually gets placed over the top of the cottage. And we're going to empty that out and we're going to put a cow over here. Because this way, if I do get someplace where I don't have enough room, I can put the animal in, the, in there. Red gets a final turn of the game. So they don't really want another horse. You know what? Sheep and a reed would be pretty handy. I think they're going to come over here. They're just going to try to get redonkulous on sheep. And then the reed. Okay, so final breeding. Uh, so you're gonna put the sheep in here. They're just laying on top of each other. Pigs here. Horses here. And cows here. You get a sheep. You get a pig, you get a horse, um, they're going to put the horse in the shelter and the cow's going to run, cause it's going to run away. Poor cow. We barely knew him. So time to start worrying with points. Uh, you'll notice that these trackers very helpfully counted up all of our animals. Um, you got a lot of sheep there, uh, but blue's got a lot of cows. Um, so the last thing I do is got to score in farm expansions. Um, red gets one. And blue gets one. Blue doesn't get two because this one isn't fully used, but they do get this one. And then buildings, I just need to double check. I don't think troughs are worth anything. I think they're just worth however many the points are. Um, yeah, troughs don't count. So red gets, um, so red had a total of 10 resources. So that's gonna be worth five points for their buildings. And then they also get three more for the stud farm. Blue gets five for the half timbered house. They get 10 total basically, then two for the stable and then three for the dairy farm. So that's 10 for them. 
So I'm going to hit calculate scores. Um, did you count expansion? You did. Blue won by two bloody points. What a close game. Yeah, Blue's building heavy strategy paid off. But more importantly was Red screwing the pooch on cows. Um, by not trying to get cows in a real way, they got so devoted to getting horses, they forgot about cows. Um, and that's a real, that can be a real issue. Um, like, Red Sheep bonus is pretty redonkulous, though. Um... They both had just enough pig to get the one-point bonus. Um, horses are really valuable. Um, I would like to see if someone was able to get a really horse-heavy strategy, if they could get a lot of points from that. Because um, just five horses get you the bonus. You're getting a two bonus where everyone else is only getting a one bonus, which is pretty great. Um, these troughs were... I thought I needed to make sure I had enough room for cows. I really needed them for this expansion to count as a four-point bonus. That is what won the game for blue. That and also really intelligently anticipating red's moves in such a way that they were able to uh, respond quickly and really do well. Um, so yeah, that is Agricola, all creatures big and small. Uh, please join me next week when we'll be playing um, Fleet, which is a pretty good card game. And then it's going to be a whole new batch of games after that. Uh, so please be watching my Twitter page and you can see what games those are going to be. Um, one final note, um, if you want to buy this game in real life, get the big box. The big box includes both the expansions, which is where a lot of these special buildings came from. The only buildings in the base game are the storage shed, the, um, the half-timbered house, uh, the open stable, and one other building that we actually did build totally, and I just don't remember what it was. Uh, but I highly recommend you get the big box. Uh, I, th I think even the older versions are out of print now. But yeah, get the big box, get the expansions, it's worth every cent. And that'll be it for now. So until next time, this has been of Indian. Thank you for watching, and I wish you a marvelous day.